Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universal Sandbox 2 video and today we're doing another episode of turning an object into a star so if you didn't see the last episode that was the uh, first episode in literally a year since I made the last one so this series has been brought back until you guys get bored of it or we run out of objects to do pretty much similar to the coloured solar systems if we run out of objects to do in this case um, we'll probably have to stop the series again but yeah we've got um, a few more objects to do that I am um, I can think of, but obviously if you guys can think of more objects um, that I've not already done, please obviously check the playlist of all of these episodes first before you make a suggestion. In case you suggest one I've already done, for instance. So yeah, please keep that in mind. But today we are doing Vesta. So yeah, and at the time it's recording, I've not even released the last episode yet. So if you've not seen um, making make maker star or Make Make, if you've not seen that. Um, video yet then check that one out because that was very fun to do but yeah today we are doing Vesta so what we're going to do today to make this guy into a star is we're going to blast it with a lot of material to begin with so let's go with moons here so hopefully the object doesn't like disappear into nothingness so let's uh, lower the spread increase the rate let's make it one mood of mass turn this off and let's begin so let's um, do uh, just iron and let's spray it there we go so it's going to Make it bigger and bigger. It's already turned into a normal sized object, so can we can't even change the colour options on it, damn it. Oh well, let's keep blasting it, bigger and bigger. So as we can see on the stats here, it's already getting a lot larger. It's getting quite dense because of the iron, so we'll switch it to silicate instead. And we'll start to spray some of that at it. So the density will even out and get smaller now. So let's continue spray all this. Let's actually do big spray. There you go. Oh yeah. Oh all the magicness. All the, all the magical um sparkle or sparkly dust, I guess. There we go, let's just do a full sort of spin around the whole thing. Here we go. So I'm still holding it, it's just just be spraying. Is it gonna there, oh yeah, look at all that. Oh my god. Whoa! All, all those uh, sparkles, oh yeah. Look at all that. It's all gonna crash into a Vesta, make it a lot larger. And there we go. So it's look at all this. Oh it's so cool. Just look at that. It's like a massive shooting star crashing into it. Oh yeah. It sort of reminds me of a black hole gobbling up a planet as well, but let's keep going here. We also uh, collide a few things of it just to um, add some chaos as well. So Vesta, Vesta, Vesta. Let's put the original Vestas around. Let's keep spamming those guys in. Whoa, yeah. Look at all that. Oh, my God. That's, that's quite cool, actually. Oh, they're all going to collide now. Mercury. Let's throw one of those in. Oh, my. Whoa. What happened there? What was that? <laughs> this is the one we want. What the heck happened with that guy? Let's get rid of that. But still, that was insane. How the heck? <laughs> that was actually really cool. I don't know what caused that to happen, but that was insane. Wow. That was ridiculously crazy. Let's just delete all these. There we go. But that was insane. Wow. Okay, let's keep spraying objects in. There we go. Mercury. Sorry, buddy. You're just going to get um, destroyed. All those particles getting destroyed by Bruce Limit. Oh, dear. Oh no, oh, that's a big collision. Oh, it's kind of annoying the sound effect isn't playing. It's meant it should play a sound effect when objects collide, but it's not working. Whoa, that Mercury is a little too big for my liking. Get out of here with that. No, Mercury, can I, can I select the Mercury? Get, no, get, get rid of that. There we go. Okay, we'll keep an eye on that Venus. Hopefully, it doesn't um, get too crazy. There's that Venus gobbling up a lot of material as well. Oh dear, that's a lot of stuff though. Vesta is now the size of a planet as well. Let's throw an Earth in. Go on, uh, eat up the earth. Come on. Earth, what are you doing, man? Come on, get get back here. Venus as well. Let's throw you in there. There we go. So he's eating up earth. There we go. Venus is going in Vesta as well. There we go. It's all climbing in and Vesta's gobbled them all up. So then what we'll do as well is go more material. Let's continue launching material. It's also speed up time as well. So instead of being one moon, we'll go one earth. There we go. So it's spread. And that's going to get a lot bigger as we continue to shoot material into it, make it bigger and bigger till it becomes a star. So let's keep going. It's already heating up a temperature. It's starting to suck back some of those fragments. There we go. Oh, that was a big explosion. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's loads of explosions. Looking good. More fragments about to collide with it. Got more mercury's incoming as well. Oh, yeah. Let's uh, keep this. Let's see if we can get a good look of uh, what's going to go down. Look at all this. Oh, yeah. So there's another mercury. Oh, look at that explosion. Look at all those rocks. <laughs> Oh, there's asteroids in this case. There we go. So we've got another Mercury incoming now. Let's continue to spray it as well. Any second now, where is it? It's coming. It's coming. So let's keep going. Don't know why that Venus is there. Let's get rid of that. So let's keep going here. Actually, we will check on this guy as well. Look at all that stuff. 
So there's Vesta. It's almost a Jupiter or 10 Jupiters in mass. That's getting big. More mass than Jupiter now. So no, I don't want to explode. I want to use material. There we go. So let's keep launching that. Mercury's coming. He's coming. All right. Oh, here we go. Let's get watch this in slow motion. Here we go. Look at how the size of Vesta now. It's almost as large as Saturn. So it's going. Is Mercury going to hit it? Come on, Mercury. Yeah, looks like he is. Come on. There he's going in. Oh, and there we go. Oh, big explosion as well. So let's keep going here. See those rocks. Let's just keep spraying it. Getting it larger and larger in mass. Let's also throw in a bigger planet. Let's toss Neptune in there. Sorry, buddy, but you're going to get eaten up today. Voila. So I'm pretty sure Roosh Limit will destroy all these guys, but um, let's keep them there anyway. So there we are. Right, so let's gobble up all those Neptunes. There we go. Oh, there we go. They're losing mass. There we go. Oh, they're all getting torn apart. Oh, dear. Look at all that. All the rocks coming out of Neptune. All the gas as well. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, they're going to they're gonna get smaller and smaller. Hopefully the Neptunes don't start... Um, hopefully they don't pick up each other's mass and get bigger themselves. Oh, that's one Neptune gone. Let's uh, drag these guys back into the right place. There we go. That's two. The third one. Let's drag you in. There we go. Oh, and they're going... Oh, big collision there. So what we'll do is as well, materials. Material is keep shooting in stuff. Let's, let's throw some um, carbon dioxide in. Why not? So we go, let's continue shooting it. There we go. There's a lot of mass going out, a lot of material just going out into space as well. Oh, Vesta must be quite hot right now. That Neptune's probably gonna warm up. He's gonna he's gonna come back later though, he's gonna crash into Vesta, I think. Look at all this. Vesta is becoming one beast right now. 3.81 Jupiter. It's lost mass, but it's getting bigger. So that's what we really want. So we need it to turn to a star. So no no, no explode, I don't want to explode. Material, let's keep going. We'll, we'll increase the velocity as well, so let's go with um, 100, so that's 10 times quicker than it was before. So let's shoot it in. Look at that radius get bigger. So we're still going at one Earth here. So now let's go to 10 Earths. Let's uh, really uh, get bigger now. So there you go. So watch as that mass on the right hand side of Vesta gets bigger and bigger. That material on the top of the screen there, that's all going to crash into it. That, we've got to keep around that Neptune on the left of the screen as well. See if he, um, let's see if he uh, crashes in there. Come on. You going to crash? Let's keep going here. Neptune coming back. Come on, Neptune. Come back. There we go. Oh, look at the mass on Vesta now. Look at it. Go. 37, 40. It's going to pop into a star any second now. Neptune is going to be in real deep trouble once it hits it. Look at all this mass. Oh, there you go. Whoa. Oh, my God. Look at the size increase. Jeez. That was crazy. Just keep shooting more mass in it. Getting it bigger and bigger. Oh, that Neptune is screwed. <laughs> Oh, poor Net, you're so done. You're not going to escape. So, Vesta is now a star. Oh, Neptune, I'm so sorry, buddy. You're going to get gobbled up right now. Look at all of the explosion marks. Look at all of the collision marks. Look at all those like, shock waves on Vesta right now. Look at it. Look at the state of that. That is insane. So, there we go. Let's keep going. Neptune is just finished. Oh, there you go. Oh, what? Neptune. Neptune, the true king, has <laughs> turned into a star instead. <laughs> Well, I was seeing Neptune is the best after us, so of course it would take over. But still, come on, why would you have to do that to us, Vesta? You guys didn't see that. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> that is just so weird. How did that happen? It was so small, and then it just took over. That is just the weirdest thing ever. 200. 200. Play. No! We didn't want to do that! See, these videos can always... um cause trouble like this but it's just good fun you know like it's just even though things don't always go right it's always good fun just to um cause all these collisions and all these glitches and stuff so vesta uh let's let's just reset you to 100 jupiters and let's continue from there so using collisions is always more fun but it just always causes trouble so that's now a star okay no i don't want it to be a star yet 90 89 i just lower it till it becomes a gas giant again come on that's right, smaller come on uh, 40. There we go. So, there we go. So now it's just a brown dwarf. That's what we want. So as long as that... Now we just keep shooting material in it. So slow down time as well. And just blast it. There we go. So uh, select it as well. There we go. So let's keep an eye on its stat there. Or its stats. And then um, let's just keep blasting it with material. There we go. I can't believe Neptune killed it. Well, Neptune is the true king after all. But still, come on. Why did they do that to us? There we go. So it's a start. So it's going to continually uh, get bigger and bigger now. Oh, yeah, look at all those, uh, look at those uh, solar waves it's blasting. Damn, that's a lot of stuff. So there we go. let's keep going. There we go. That should hopefully be enough mass. Let's uh, throw some hydrogen in there as well. Right now, it's just a lot of carbon. So 
Let's uh, put an extra zero on the end there. Let's really blast it up. Look at the mass on it go. Let's go to 100 Earths. Look at that. That's really going to get bigger. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Woo! There we go. So that should be enough. It's going to keep blasting a little bit more. Just, just a little bit. There we go. Come on, just a little more. Thousand. That's a sun. That's a sun. There we go. Right. So if we close the menu, reopen it. So luminosity is zero. I don't know why we do this. Okay, there we go. There we go. That's fixed it. So that's where it should be. 0 0.8 suns. Okay. Perfect. So we've got another yellow dwarf in here now. Or oh, oh, is it an orange dwarf? No, let's look at the temperature. The sun, that's a yellow dwarf. I'd say this is an orange dwarf because it's got an orange trail. This is like an Alpha Centauri B with a bit more mass. So this would be more of an orange dwarf, I'd say. Just because the temperature's lower, but it's the size of a yellow dwarf. So there we go. Oh, looking good. It's looking very hot and spicy indeed. So there it is there. Get a good look at that boy. Oh yeah, look at that. It's looking pretty really monstrous. So let's see what chaos it can cause. Remember, last episode, Make Make, or Make Make, however you want to pronounce it, was a lot further out in the solar system. But this guy starts a lot closer to the sun. So let's see what sort of chaos it can unfold. So where's Earth? We always check on Earth in these. So Earth. There you are, buddy. How are you doing? 22 degrees, so it's already getting a little hotter than usual here. It's gone realistic mode as well. So there you go. So it's already got um, the day and night cycle has been messed up a bit because obviously two stars. That's not good. So let's watch. So let's speed up time. Turn off trail labels because that actually does um, help the game run quicker. So turn off all this. We'll, wait, we'll wait, use these. This, this should probably help as well. So here we go. Okay, the sun is on its is on its charge. Oh, Venus and Earth just collided straight into Vesta there. We don't obviously need to replay that, but yeah, you saw them, they just crashed straight into Vesta, so Vesta just gobbled those guys up. The sun, how are you going to cope? Ooh, are you going to get a little close? Ooh, they're getting close. I'm guessing they're in a binary orbit right now, but they are, they're all they are dangerously close together. Okay, there's the sun. Ooh, they are close. Look at the orbits just go crazy there. Let's keep on trails. But there you go. Ooh, that was Mercury there. And that's high G, that's another asteroid belt object. Oh, that's just got ejected out of the system, I think. So it looks like these stars are pulling each other back. Whoa, what's that there? That Jupiter, that's Saturn. Okay, so Saturn's been pulled inwards. So here is Saturn, getting dangerously close to uh, Vesta now. There's Vesta. Okay, that's really close. Oh, gosh. There's Vesta, okay. Oh, it's getting close. Oh, that is close. 400 degrees on Saturn there. Oh, that is a very close call with Saturn. Ooh, man, that is crazy. Okay, let's um, keep rolling. So there's the sun. So it looks like the sun and Vesta have become a binary orbit. So, so that is what usually happens. Whenever an inner planet or an inner object usually turns to a star, it usually starts a binary orbit with the sun. But ob objects further out into the system, like the outer solar system area, when they become stars, it causes a bit more chaos. But, um, yeah, this guy, since it is an inner solar system object, um, it does... Um, behave a little better with the sun. So Hygieia is just getting burnt up by the sun now, oh dear. Getting dangerously close. Oh, look how close it is. Way closer than Mercury. Look at that. That is very close. That's the sun. There it is. Yeah, very, very close to the sun indeed. That is in a very dangerous spot. So there's that. Okay, so um, trails are still on. So are they going to collide or are they just in a binary orbit? That's the question now. Looks like Uranus. There's Uranus there. Coming into the inner part of the system there. Getting very close to the uh, Sun and Vesta indeed. But it looks like the Sun and Vesta are just in their happy little binary orbit. Yeah, they are. Look, there you go. So, yeah, that's that. They're, they're just going to stay like that permanently now. Nothing's going to mess up their orbit. So, that's the way it's just going to stay now. So, trails. There you go. So, they're just in a binary orbit forever. Look at this. So the whole solar system is pretty much finished though because it's all just going to shoot out in different directions. I don't think these guys are going to collide. I think they're in a pretty much perfect binary orbit because obviously Vesta, 1.05 suns, like it's pretty much the same star almost. Like They are very close in mass, so they're going to orbit each other, no problem. But uh, Vesta is a lot more dense. As you can see here, there's quite a, a difference in uh, material as well. But, um, yeah, Vesta is more dense, but either way, they're still pretty much the same in mass, so they're pretty much fine. Oh, Planet 9 there, though. You gonna get any closer, buddy? Oh, look at this. This is crazy. Here we go. Stop that wobbling. So let's keep going. Can we run it? This is the fastest we can run the system right now, but look at all the stuff that's been tossed out. So that is that Saturn there. We've got a Mercury. So Mercury's been long gone. That was one of the first to go. We've also got a Hygieia down there. Make Make, or Makamake from last episode. 
Planet 10, even though I probably may I may remove that from updating my system. Poor old Neptune is dead, it's not here anymore. Earth and Venus are gone. Where's Mars? Are Mar Mars is still close to the stars, okay. How are you doing, Mars? 190, uh, minus 195, so it's relatively colder here. Yeah, it looks like it is a little further from the stars. It looks does look a little darker here, so that's not good. So orbits, yeah, look at this. This is just a complete mess now. Look, none of the orbits are stable. Those stars are just too close to each other for any uh, orbits to be sustained and, and safe. But every single orbit in here is unstable. They're always constantly changing. But yeah, there we go, guys. So that is what would happen if Vesta became a star. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you did hit that like button. Subscribe for more. Helps on the journey to 4,000 subscribers if we're not there already because this is a pre-recorded video. So I don't know... Um, if I would have hit 4,000 by then, but um, if we have a massive thanks to you guys, it's absolutely amazing. And if we're not there yet, well, we must be close, right? So, yeah, subscribe if you're new, helps on the journey to 4,000. So, yeah, there's that. But yes, it's, ma it's much, much appreciated. I cannot thank you guys enough. It is absolutely crazy. And this Vesta star is just going crazy. Just look at this thing. Look at this guy. It's crazy. Look at that. Wow. But yeah, just a huge thanks to you guys. It is absolutely insane. Like, I cannot thank you all enough. It is it's really, really crazy. I never thought I would get this far, but. Yeah, it is awesome. So, yeah, there we go. So, let's see if we can try and get 50 likes on this video, maybe. And, yeah, like I said, subscribe if you're new. Let me know down below in the comments what object I should do next. If um, if you've checked the playlist, of course, please check the playlist first before you request any objects. Just to see if, there's a, see if the object you want me to do has already been done or not. But if it hasn't been done, then let me know what I should do next. But, yeah, that is everything, guys. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.